Well, the Las Vegas massacre has reignited the gun control debate south of the border, and that means Canada's laws are getting some extra scrutiny. Might surprise you to learn firearms similar to the ones used in U.S. mass shootings can be bought legally here, but there's a catch. And CTV's Shannon Patterson reports on the regulations that seem to be making a big difference. So this one here is a 300 Winchester Magnum. Italian Sporting Goods has been selling firearms in Vancouver for nearly half a century. It's a bit of a shock and surprise because a lot of people, you know, have this image of, of an, a gun owner. But, you know, we have everything from dentists to lawyers to doctors. Most buy guns for hunting or target shooting. In Canada, you cannot buy firearms for protection. But you can buy handguns and semi-automatic rifles. You need to pass what they call a Canadian Firearms Safety Course. Once you've passed that, you then send an application into the federal government. They'll do their background checks. And once they feel confident, there is a minimum 28-day waiting period, they will issue you a license. With that license alone, you can buy a standard hunting rifle. Most handguns and semi-automatics are restricted. They need to be registered, and you must be a member of a recognized gun club to buy them. Firearm, if it's restricted, must have a trigger lock on it, as well as the case must be a locking case in order for a proper legal transport to and from the approved ranges in British Columbia or where you approved to shoot at. The device the Las Vegas shooter used to turn his semi-automatic rifles into fully automatic weapons, called a bump stock, is illegal here. Completely and totally prohibited device. This gun store owner thinks we strike the right balance in Canada. The laws work fantastic. The system that they put in place makes a lot of sense for the Canadian people. People with access to many of the same guns as Americans with a much lower rate of gun violence. Shannon Patterson, CTV News, Vancouver.